good morning good morning sir are you all right yes sir quite comfortable yes sir do you remember i asked you to read the first four chapters of the book better spoken in english how many of you have read it anyone it doesn't take long time please you know it's hardly 30 pages of non technical matter please try and read it before the end of this month okay how many of you think you are going to read it please just read through and there there are some exercises at the end of the book in each chapter and you will find them very interesting actually you know they are self evaluation exercises okay you can test yourself compare your answers with the answers given at the end of the book have you noticed there are answers to each exercise given at the end of the book have you seen that at least okay have you seen that say yes or no please yes okay there are so you know you can check this is a self help kind of book anyway uh, we have come now to the almost to the end of the first part of the course which is presentations and public speaking and for particularly for us who make academic presentations you know there there can be occasions such as huge political meetings you have 10000 or 50000 listeners then you need other kinds of uh, skills but in academic professional presentations some of these things are very very important okay and the last two points i have to make there is you know increasingly these days all of us use tools like powerpoint slides okay or sometimes recorder or record player to supplement the points we are making but lot of people not one not two a huge number of people do not pay attention to these little things like how much please write how much matter can go in one slide how many slides you know how much how many how many slides should we have in a talk for 10 minutes or in a talk for 1 minute okay you cannot have 30 slides 30 you cannot have 30 slides in a 1 minute presentation all your time will be taken up in changing the slides right so these are common sense rules how much can you put in one slide how many slides can you have for one talk how many lines what should be the size of the letters and the numbers the font size as you say or the colors simply because computers give you a choice of all kinds of colors can you use any color with any other color what is your opinion can you use any color with any other color or any other colors no obviously not okay the guiding principle is please write the guiding principle is the following how how i can communicate what is the word communicate, communicate. what is the word communicate once again what is the word communicate how i can communicate most effectively 
what is the word <laughs> effectively how i can communicate most effectively okay what will be easily taken by my listeners by my viewers my audience within the given time what would give them comfort what would help me support my presentation that is the guiding principle so when you prepare for a public presentation when you prepare for a talk and if you use slides keep some of these principles in mind is that all right do you understand so today in the next 45 minutes i am going to talk about some some of these principles and i am going to show you examples and i am going to ask you do you think these are good slides the or for the given purpose do you think these are not so good okay and then i am going to ask you why you think these are good or these are not so good am i am i clear to you is that all right okay relax sit with your back to the you know desk back to the chair i'm i'm going to ask you some questions and powerpoint slides are very good medium are wonderful medium when you want to communicate numerical data please write i'll copy these slides to you right so you know powerpoint slides are a wonderful medium for communicating numbers you can communicate them orally as well but you know they can leave some listeners in doubt your pronunciation either slow or rapid may hamper that communication but in visual medium that's not the problem similarly names you know lot of us do not give enough time to our names you heard that ganesh reddy tape and saw the difference okay that quite often we speak our names very rapidly we don't give a importance or enough importance to our own names so if you have particularly if you have long names say for example this was one of my friends a professor of physics you know long name his full name is nakati venkata subba sucha rao okay subba satya rao now you know by the time you come to the last part the first part might be forgotten okay a good medium is write it out particularly when you are talking about people who are not well known to your audience people from history people from another country okay <coughs> write their names down or titles or positions say for example i have written here the position of a friend you know what position he occupies in the company so my friend nv ss rao is the chairman come managing director of the kakinada sugar company okay or the title of a book what is gandhi's autobiography called everybody please what is gandhi's autobiography called my experiment in truth come with pause is clear pronunciation once again what is it called my, my experiments with the time yeah it's better my experiments with truth what is it my, my experiments with, with truth. truth give a pause give a gap a little a nanosecond pause between experiments and with prepositions begin another phrase prepositions begin another phrase what is gandhi's autobiography called my my experiments with yes this is better last once again please my experiments with truth yes my experiments with truth okay what is this book this is gandhi's autobiography, autobiography. what is it once again what is this book so you know titles are best written down okay titles are best written down you know rather than you know if i if i told you uh, about some obscure person an obscure book recently the biography of vs naipaul has come now, vs naipaul is a nobel prize winner in literature he is from india and his biography is called the way of the world 
may be clear, you may forget it after a few minutes, but when you write these things down, your audience's comfort level is much higher. Do you agree? Okay. Similarly, when you want to use quotations, when you cite a line from a text or when you want to cite somebody's utterance, okay. my friend said, oh this is stupid okay, and you are making a professional presentation, you want to use this one line for the sake of effect, for the sake of record to enhance the comfort level of your listeners, you better write it down. You know. So, these things numbers, names, titles, quotations, charts, graphs, okay. can, can anyone tell me where this quotation comes from? Ano vadra kratavo yantu pasyata, which language? Sanskrit and the translation is given and the source is given. Okay. There are you know the, if some of the best literary works of India in these books called Upanishads. So, coming back to the point, PowerPoint slides are very good for some of these things, but they are not good for printing a page there and begin reading it. This was the best of times and this was the worst of times. Take a page from a novel and put it there and you begin reading it. That is, that is not the best use of PowerPoint slides. It is like you know using a gun to kill a fly or using a stone to kill an elephant on the other hand. Okay. The match between the medium and the target may not be there. So, PowerPoint slides are not a good medium for a lot of you know running text such as pages from books. A lot of people just copy from you know internet, from Google, from any website, okay, huge amounts of matter, paste it there and then begin reading it here. They stand and begin reading here. PowerPoint slides are not good for presenting running text as pages from books, too much information as in railway train timetable. What are you talking about? Are you with me? Yes, Everybody please. Yes. The, you know once again all of these things relate to ordinary common sense. What will go well with what? Okay. So, PowerPoint slides are not very good for running texts or you cannot put in too much information in one slide. Say for example, railway timetable. Can you tell me what kinds of information a railway timetable page gives you? Give, give you, sorry, a page gives you on one page. What are the kinds of things you can find on a railway timetable? Think and tell me, one buddy. Number one. Train number one, number. train number. Train number. Train number. Train then train name. Train name. Then departure. From to time you know from to then <coughs> names of all the stations the train will pass through then then departure. Uh, arrival departure times then come on rack you, you know this is what you call brainstorming ask your brain shake your brain it also gives you the route map of the train on the top page. Okay. This is how okay. sometimes also railway timetables print commercial advertisement, all of these things are there on one page. But railway timetable is a book, you carry it with yourself on the train and you can look at it leisure, at leisurely. If you copy, if you photocopy that, if you take it from the website, copy and paste it on one slide, then maybe if you focus with a laser torch, look at this particular station, the train reaches there at midnight. If you want to make that kind of point, then it is all right. Otherwise, even there, even there, your audience will be distracted. You know, this is a natural tendency to look at things that are there before you. 
do you remember I told you about the effect that visual medium has? Okay. So, if you put more matter, the audience would like to look at all of them and that will be a distraction irrelevant. Therefore, when you make a PowerPoint slide, ask yourself very clearly how much can I put in one slide. Okay? Running you know PowerPoint slides are not too good for too much information or a lot of verbal information. You can just as you cannot print a railway timetable page on one slide, you cannot print a dictionary page on one slide unless you want to show your audience this is how a dictionary looks like. Are you with me? What is the kinds of information a dictionary gives you? Come on, tell me. Words beginning with a particular letter. Once again, everybody please. Dictionary gives you words beginning with a particular letter. Beginning with a particular letter, not particular, particular letter. Beginning with a particular letter. Right? What else? What else does it give? Pronunciation. Pronunciation. Pronunciation of these words. Next. Meanings. Meanings. Meanings of these words. Next. Usage of. Spelling of these words. Next. Usage. Sorry. Origin of the words. Origin of these words, not origin. What is it? Origin. What is it? Origin. Once again, what is it? Origin. Origin. Origin, origin of these words. Next. Synonyms. Synonyms. Next. Usage. Yes. Very importantly, it gives you grammatical information. What does it give you? Grammatical information. Grammatical information. Okay. Whether it is a noun or a verb, what other categories are possible? Adjective. Adjective. Pronoun. Or pronoun or adverb. Adverb or preposition. Preposition or conjunction or you know, all kinds of grammatical information and what else? It gives you lots of information. If you want to show, if you want to tell your audience this is how a dictionary looks like, then that is marvelous. Otherwise, that is not the best medium. Okay? Or once again, you will have to do something, use a circle, point to the, you see this word testify in Roman courts, the word testify had totally different meaning, circle it, point to the etymology, the origin of the word, it comes from Latin and this is what it meant then. Okay? Look up your dictionary and see what original meaning the word testify had, it is very interesting. The boys in particular must look up this word. Right. I will now give you some examples of what kinds of uh, okay. They can help. You know, PowerPoint slides can help. You 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 know you can ask questions like how many lines can we have? There are no hard and fast rules. These things are not written down in the Constitution of India. Do you expect to find them? in the constitution of India, in the criminal procedure code, in the rules of conduct in your hostel, no. Okay. They, are, they are common sense thing. So, you know the first principle is do not have too much, let it not be cluttered, write that word, you know cluttered. You know the, if you go to some rooms, I am sure you know in your hostel there are people whose rooms are cluttered lots of things on their table, cup and pen and notebook and uh, you know, books, newspapers, towel on top of that. Okay. Sometimes I have gone to rooms where I also I have also seen socks on table, a yes, socks on table you know, that is cluttered all kinds of things mindlessly in one place. But if you are organized, you know you have a place for everything and everything in its place. 
okay. a place for books, a place for cups, a place for socks, a place for notebooks, a place for pen, paper, etcetera, okay. a whole lot of things that is cluttered. So, you do not clutter your, the next is your powerpoint slides will help if fonts are sufficiently large. If you are talking in a huge hall, your fonts must be 60, 70. If you are in a small room, maybe 40, but not less. Okay. Similarly, as few as possible. You know the principle here is must, what I must communicate through this, not what I can. You can do a lot of things. Okay. So, you know what must be put through this medium. Then color contrast, I have seen all kinds of fantastic color contrast, you know, yellow on red, people like me just cannot see and unfortunately you are going to have people like me judging your future. You prepare a project proposal, you submit it to the government, you submit it to funding agencies and you have old tired professors like me sitting there with bad eyes and they say, ah, this guy cannot even make a good PowerPoint presentation, what kind of research he would do, chuck him off. Okay. Good contrast, if at all you use more than one, you know, if you use several colors, keep that in mind, what color goes with what color, okay. what will enhance the effect, not just aesthetic, but communicative effect, what will take your message most effortlessly to your listeners that should be the guiding principle, not that you know the guiding as you have in fancy dress parties. Okay. You have dhoti and kurta then tie and you know not that kind of thing. So, think of good color contrasts and once again whether they can be easily read within the given time. If you are giving only 30 seconds for each slide then have only so much matter as can be read in, as can be read in, last bench please, are you in the class, as can be read in, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. as can be read in, 30 seconds. yes, that is English, you know speak slowly with pauses, as can be read in, 30 seconds, okay. do not put you know, it is like it is common sense, you know, how much can you carry in you know in Indian culture of why suitcases do not last long in India. A suitcase is designed to take 5 kilograms, you sit on it and you know you pack it with 10 kilograms, it is not closing. Then what you do is you and your friend both stand on top of it, the suitcase closes, but the clamp here snaps, goes away, right. That is what you will be doing. Okay. Each place you remember you are dealing with finite elements, you only have so much space, so much time, so much to say, keep that in mind and you will make a great presentation no matter where. Do you agree? Say yes or no, please I do not see smiles on your faces. Look at some examples, do you think it is a good job or not such a good job? Honest now, your opinion. Okay, use your notebook. Write, just write. Good, not so good, and why? I want some discussion. I want to hear you. I want camera to capture your faces. Please, my friends, kindly, you know, these students, you know, unlike others, take a shower in the morning, wear their best dresses. Please capture them on the camera. Right. What do you think of it? Sorry, I am forgetting your name, ma. Aparna, right. Do you think it is good, not so good? Good. Ashwini? Okay, but as it is. Okay, why? Why do you think it is good? Yes, very relevant. Anybody else who has a different opinion? Okay, where yes. Is that not clear? 
the younger thing you know i mean of course the speaker will tell you this is the first clone so the mother is taller and the baby is yeah but yes you have a point or the speaker could take a pointer you know but it has only as much information as really required and a good photograph rather than talking about dolly and leaving you to imagine oh a goat looks like a goat or a deer okay next what do you think of this what do you think of this my friend on the last bench what's your name shailesh ah shailesh what do you think of it it's not looking good sorry it's not looking good is it not it does not look good it does not okay come again it does not look good why <coughs> so many lines are written so count how many lines are there please okay and how many letters in each line honestly yes a good cook a good tailor a good craftsman gives attention to absolutely little details as well as to huge things okay imagine a shirt where button is not aligned okay how many letters in each line okay 20 or 25 letters in each line you will need half an hour to read and tons of motivation to read this slide the moment you see it your mind will switch off okay not this like hostel food the moment you smell it your appetite goes okay not that food is bad but is not served in style like your mother does okay not a good slide what do you think of this r e m does anyone know what is r e m okay first read it what is uh, what is this what is the heading on the slide r e m what is it r e m r e m you know this is how abbreviations go stress on the last letter you are studying at i i t okay where are you studying i i t what degree are you going to get at the end of your studies b tech not b tech but b tech what are you going to get b tech so similarly this is r e m sleep rapid complete the can you expand the abbreviation anybody please rapid I, 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 I move, move. move. <coughs> everybody please what is it rapid, rapid I, I move movement. you know that is in the initial stage of the sleep so somebody has taken a graph do you think has done a good job or not such a good job come on everybody please okay now from front benches here do you think it's a good job no sir why not sir the text of the graph is very small and uh, the graph is too long graph is too long any other problem anybody else abbreviations are okay maybe yes possibly but you can imagine that the speaker spoke about it okay any other problem you see the fonts okay uh, uh, some of these things see the difference in the size so not of the uniform size not easily how many of you are able to read that a small print last benches are you able to read shalesh no are you able to read aparna because you are so close to it sorry what's your name my friend kartik are you able to read it are you able to read it keep the all of these things in mind Uh, you know the only guiding principle is you are doing it all for the listeners not for your private pleasure you know it you don't even have to look at it because you have designed it but because you have designed it and you have designed it for the others you must have these facts in mind would these things go easily otherwise a good job you know presents a graph this will be the best medium
for presenting a graph, but the legends, the letters that have been written, the words that have been written have been just, it is, it's a, it's a, it's a, you know what I called the pearl of east coast job. You took somebody else's data wholesale without editing, okay. you should have changed the font size. Look at the next and remember all of these things were presented by, I have a collection you know, I have more than 300 slides in my archives. Someday if you want a copy, come with your pen drive and I will give it to you. You can have endless pleasure at the mistakes of others. Okay. It is so difficult to laugh at yourself and so easy to laugh at others. So, you, you can have some fun. What do you think of this? Honestly, you know, do not, I am not, I do not expect you to say good, I do not expect you to say bad. I expect you to make a critical judgment. Are you with me? What I am expecting of you? A critical judgment. Everybody please and do not expect only 5 people to speak and others can have the luxury of sleeping with eyes open. Okay. Some, some people here in the center, the next two benches behind the front, tell me what you think of them. Fonts are okay or not okay? Not okay. The bar chart? You can't read the dates. Sorry? It is difficult to read what is written on the graph. Slowly, <coughs> once again. It is difficult to read. It is what difficult is to read. What is written on the graph? Right, because the fonts are small. Yeah. And good point. Any other point that you would like to add? Yes. Sorry, what's your name? Genus. Yeah. Any other point you would like to add? Same sir. Yes or no? Would you like to add something? Uh, sir, it is well structured, sir. It is well structured, yes. Anything else? Anyone else in the class? There could be lined on. Okay. Yeah. It's a lot of information on one slide, you know in the box you have bar chart, bar charts themselves have at least three axes, the y axis, the x axis and then the top and the bottom of each bar, but then the legends. On the left hand side, on my left, on your left, on the viewers left, you have other information about the economy and the figures. You must, if you use this kind of slide then you must give your audience at least about 50 to 60 seconds and use a pointer to show that you know I am talking about parity with the in, in, in US dollars okay, etcetera. Look at some others, what do you think of this? What do you think of this? This is what I mean by cluttered, just you know whoever designed this slide was talking with his friend in the hostel and you know he just blocked something, copied it and pasted it something and then he and his friend decided. Now I am ready for Sri Chaudhary's class tomorrow, all I have to do is to show it and get away with it, it is cluttered, nobody will read it no matter how much time it will be so demotivating. Am I right? What is the word? Demotivating. You know, there can be attractive pictures and there can be unattractive pictures. This is not even unattractive, it is worse. What do you think of this flow chart, this tree diagram? Sorry, uh, what is your name, my friend? Raj Shekhar comment on it. Can you stand up? I want my friends to have <coughs> your photograph. It starts as good slide. Sorry? It is not such a good slide. Why? Too much of information and no, slowly. Too much of information and it's not very clear. Not very clear. The, can anybody read the what is written inside each blurb? 
can you read it anybody please at least read. i can't you but you know my eyes are bad and i'm an old man and my eyesight is not too good can one of you read it what is written there inside any of these boxes anybody please try signal intelligence it does require some effort right yes or no even on your part and you know the guiding principle is most effectively so that my audience is comfortable and i tell them what i want to tell them okay so cluttered e you know except perhaps the first heading i can't read anything else it talks something about electronic what does it talk about electronic warfare what does it talk about electronic warfare round your lips warfare warfare, warfare. okay what do you think of this are these good slides a good use of powerpoint medium see if you feel like saying yes then say yes why are you, you know there is I, as i told you there are no external benchmarks it is your common sense what does your common sense say irrelevant can we can't see what the pictures have got to do with what is it that's because i have not given you the background i've just taken it i you know out of it actually these slides come from a presentation which is presentations by chance sorry discoveries by chance there is a big word for that do you know what is that called please write the word is and look look up the meaning of this look up the meaning of this word in the dictionary today what is this serendipity I stress this what is this yes serendipity what is serendipity discovery by chance you know i am looking for x i find x i also find y i may not find x but i find y you know so that is called discovery by chance serendipity i go looking for x and i end up finding y okay any anything so history of science is full of serendipitous discoveries okay and these two people arthur kornberg john locke who were they google them today and tell me tomorrow in the class who they were and you will find something interesting about the history of science okay so you know photographs some lines some quotations what is the quotation here can you read it aloud not too good come again slowly with pauses again is what happens when we plan something else yes life is what happens when we plan something else when we plan something else okay what do you think of this not even worthy of our just so that kind of thing you know no attention to font size no attention to how much matter no attention to a whole lot of things okay don't do that even ordinary food even very ordinary food served in a clean plate properly arranged somebody asks you what's the difference between five star hotel and a dhaba you know tea shop what's the difference they put the same amount of salt the difference is in the you know ordinary restaurants the used cup may not even have been washed properly whereas in the other place it will be clean presented with lot of love and affection respect it's just that kind of thing you know any efficient housewife will tell you your mother will tell you you know how even ordinary food can be presented 
well, but in this case that attention has not been given. What do you think of this? Good, not so good. Come on, say something. Okay, who said good? Aparna, you said good. Ashwini, you said good. Okay, why do you think it is good? Font size is proper and there is enough space. Yes, and the information is easily transmitted. Those who said not so good. Why do you say not so good? Please, you may have, you sure have justifications. Come on. Sorry. Very less information. Okay, limited information. Okay. Again, we don't, we don't know what. Slowly with pauses. Yeah. We don't know what he is trying to say. Yeah, that's because once again I have taken it out of <laughs> the context. It doesn't even seem related. This, this, this boy. Once again, a boy. This boy is talking about fashion industry. Okay. India's fashion industry. Okay, the point. Possibly the font could have been a little larger. Otherwise, I think it's nearly okay. No need for so many words. Now some words can be cut down. There, what is the need for? Though not a great percent. These words are meant to be spoken, not meant to be written. Communicate as much or only as much only as much as is must. This boy on the other hand has done a different kind of thing. He has said all that he wanted to say only through the slide. So, that those words could have been taken away. There is no need for though not a greater percent. Okay. Only this would have been enough. Fashion industry has more much more to offer or that entire thing can go away you can only keep this fashion business brings 2 billion US dollars. Which dollars? Singapore dollars? This boy had in mind US dollars. So, those that relevant sign or symbol could have been used okay, in, in the textile market etcetera. Right. Let us look at a few more and then we will stop. I think we are what do you think of this? How GPS works? What is GPS? Global position positioning satellites. Okay, yeah, right. So you know how do how do GPS satellites work? Somebody made a presentation on that. You know, once I for a topic, once I asked my class to give me a presentation on some recent object of engineering of great use in communication. So, they presented you know somebody made a presentation on GPS. Okay. Now, what do you think of this? Okay, why? The maps are so small and uh, uh, all the fo uh, fonts in the map are not uh, we can't read them. Yes. So, there is lot of information and some of it is almost illegible. You know, though, though the legends on the left hand side, the left column, they are okay. Tracking station, how it works? There are these four parts. There are tracking stations, the master control facility. What are the others? Master control station and then the satellite. This part is all right. But in the maps proper, had this presenter paid some attention to, okay. could he have done with only one map rather than have two? What do you say? Are these two maps necessary or would one be enough? One would be. <coughs> one would be. Perhaps one would do, perhaps I am not too sure, perhaps one would do. But no, you know, this is how you this, this is the difference between a good presentation and not such a good presentation. A man made island as coming as the airport. What do you think of this? 
possibly it could be a little clearer you know the blur that over there otherwise okay look at some others leave it what do you think of this this presenter talks about the longest man made suspension bridge so one of your senior he talks about the longest and he has only 3 slides only about 110 seconds what do you think of it good photograph okay but you can't get the engineering details right so that way in that sense it's good for entertainment but for communication perhaps not so good of course it shows you the height the difficulty of the terrain okay but engineering details do not come for that this guy would require another this presenter would require another slide where he takes you know only a part of it is it a fan shape or pyramid shape what do you make out from there why that you know those details possibly but you know once again it depends upon but pay attention to all of these little things what does my photograph intend to communicate aesthetics then it's wonderful engineering details then it is not am i clear to you yes sir am i clear to you yes sir right we'll finish forget these things what do you think of this once again the same problem okay i am going to a stop here now right when you make your presentation on the first here when you bring your slides give your slides tomorrow uh, not tomorrow when 30th right 30 pay attention to all of these things okay thank you very much have a good day